I'm going to show you how to take a photo and turn it into something, change it so it's submittable into Edgenuity. So we're going to be changing the file. I'm going to show you how to do that. Actually, I'm going to be flying by the seat of my pants. That's what they say in the Air Force, which basically means don't really have a lot of knowing what I'm going on, what's doing, but we're going to try it anyway. So this is actually the first time I'm going to try this, and I just figured I'd go ahead and record it and see what happens. All right. Uh, so I took a photo of what I want to submit and I actually am going to submit one of my students drawings and she drew a picture of her dog. So we're going to pretend that's an assignment. It actually sounds kind of like a cool assignment. Anyway, so here we are at Edgenuity and as this looks familiar, we look to see what we can upload. Well, let me go to my instructions. This is my, okay, I'm supposed to do some artwork, use some materials. Okay, well that means I can't do that in a Google Doc. I gotta take a picture of what the artwork I did, right? All right, but as you can see, it doesn't accept any type of picture form. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to your Google Drive. And like I said, I'm trying this for the first time, so let's see what happens. Okay, on the bottom right, you have a plus sign. You tap the plus sign, a menu comes up, and in that menu, you have different options. I'm going to select Google Slides. Now, if I look off to the left, I have one that says Drawing My Pet. So, whenever you're titling your work, make sure that it's specific to what the assignment is. Okay? And I left that up there so this way you can be mindful about what you title your things, right? So I can type in art class <laughs> drawing my pet. And then I'm going to put my first name. Then I'm going to put my last name going to put what period I am, and then I'm gonna put my class. Am I in high school credit, or am I in two-dimensional 2D art? I have two fifth periods. I have a high school credit fifth period, and I have a 2D art fifth period. So it's really important to put that information down. Then I'm gonna tap create. So, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and give this a try, see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna tap the plus sign. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tap the plus sign. Got some options. I definitely want to pick the image. So do I want to pick it from my photos or from my camera? From my camera, I'm assuming I'm just taking a picture of myself. Well, or I'm taking a picture of the artwork itself. So I already took the picture. So I'm going to actually put down from photos. There we go. And then here is the photo I want to submit. And then so this is what I want to submit. And just to make things look neat, I'm going to just delete these because they're just kind of messy or maybe I want to put my dog's name and I just kind of want to get a little fancy or something like that you can do that you don't have to but anyway but I'm going to go ahead and erase the stuff in the back just because it's a lot nicer looking all right then I'm going to press the back button and let's see if it's saved I didn't save it so I messed up this is good this is actually really good because let's say that you do that but you can't contact me because I, I'm, you know, I'm not available at the time. So I love it. Okay. Plus sign, images, camera. Nope, my bad. <laughs> uh, from photos, picture of dog. Yay. All right. So I'm going to tap over here. Yes. This is what I want to do. Check it out. Okay, so I'm going to tap here, and I have share and export with a little arrow off to the side. See how it's a little bit further down? Tap share and export. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put send a copy. I'm going to tap send a copy. Do I want to do it in a PowerPoint? Well, hang on. PowerPoint, PowerPoint. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, it accepts PowerPoint. I can do that. All right, or do I want to do it in a PDF? All right, uh, hang on, hang on. And yes, PDF, okay? So accepts both. You can do either one, whatever floats your boat. 
All right. Um, last time I did a document. I know I did a PDF. This time I'll go ahead and do the document. Let's see what happens. All right. And I click OK. Remember, they're both OK to click. That I do know. All right. So then now we have all the colorful icons up top. Well, we don't need to bother with those. We look over here. We have Save to Files. That is your button. Press Save to Files. And then, bam, there it is. Drawing my pet in any media. Uh, last name, first name, whoa, period. All right? Was that the correct title? I thought I had a different title. Hmm. I thought I typed in art class. Drawing my pet. Oh, well, let's find out. So I, I liked how that happened, actually, because if something weird or wonky happens like that, if you save under a different file name, then you're guaranteed an additional copy. OK, um, let's see. Period in class, right? Um, you could actually keep the exact same title and put the number two, three or four or five behind it, and it will save a file but a separate one. We're gonna click done, save. All right, it should be there. Let's go back. Oh, there it is. All right. Okay, um, so then let's go back to Edgenuity. There you are, okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna tap the add files. And I'm going to, there's a three little blue dots, or it's a three dots. I'm going to tap browse. So here is, here is it right here. Art class drawing my pet. Oh my goodness. It chopped off part of the name. That's so embarrassing. Okay. <clears throat> so then we look right here and you see my document over here. Button says submit, press submit, and you're done. So in this video, I had a little bobble, meaning a little mess up, a little mistake. That's okay. I'm going to actually leave it there, and I hope it actually helps you. But if it turns out to confuse you a little more, then let me know. I'll make a new one.